Hi everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com back with another video tutorial in my series called Flashcards. Today's card was actually inspired by a card I received from our very own Shelly Gardner. I absolutely loved her card and as I was working on my video uh, series for flashcards I thought why not come up with my own version. So here's my little take on Shelly's fabulous card. Let's get started and I'll show you how to create this one. I'm going to start, as always, with my card base and the two pieces from my flashcard template. Now, if you've not watched the very first video on flashcards explaining the template, you can find that by going to YouTube and searching Connie Stewart flashcards and you'll find the video there. Let's go ahead and we're going to start. I'm, by the way, I'm using Melon Mambo Basic Black and Very Vanilla for my card today. I'm going to start with my Basic Black and the Very Vanilla. We're going to cut those down to three and a quarter inches, both pieces, so that when we're done, we're going to have something like this. So, uh, you know what, since I've got it here, let me go ahead and stamp my sentiment. That's what we're gonna be doing with this. In Wild Wasabi, I'm going to use the word, my friend, from the, hey, get this, my friend stamp set. So let's go ahead and stamp my sentiment and adhere that onto, my layering piece. And we can set that aside for now because we're all done with it for a little bit. So now we have these two pieces. You can see they're identical in size. Um, they're both cut three and a quarter. We're going to tear that. And let me show you a little tip I like to share or that I like to show you with tearing. I'm going to come down about a quarter of an inch here on this side. And so that when I tear, whoops, it's going to shift a little bit on you and that's okay. But you can see when I tear and when I slide that up, my, my tears kind of balance each other. So um, we're going to start now. We're going to take that basic black and my bird builder punch. And this is kind of an important tip. We want to do our best to center that bird punch in this black cardstock. Because we're going to be using this to layer. And I want to make sure none of that bird punch shows through. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to do a little stamping. I'm actually going to start with the vanilla and the bird punch because we're going to be using both of those. With the Versamark pad and the swirl from Everything Eleanor, we're going to stamp on our cardstock. And you're also going to come along and stamp on the bird and the stem. I mean the stem, the uh, wing. With the iridescent ice embossing powder, you're going to come in and sprinkle that onto your cardstock and sprinkle it onto your bird. And we're going to take our heat tool and through the magic of television, we're going to have that already done. <laughs> so I've heat embossed that. I've also come in uh, with a little stamp from Printed Petals and I stamped a little bit of Melon Mambo, some little Melon Mambo flowers on there. So now let's go and adhere that onto our card layering piece from our flashcards, like so. And we've embossed that bird, and we've embossed the wing, and I just dropped it on the floor, hold on. There we go. And let's start to put our card together. I'm just going to adhere my bird out there. I've put a dimensional on the back of her wing just to give it a huh, dimension. Okay, so there I've got that. And on Shelly's card, she had a cute little sentiment on here, but guess what? I didn't have any extra cardstock. <gasps> Voila, to the rescue. You remember those extra strips? When you cut your flashcards down, you had all those little extra strips? That's what these are going to be used for. So I'm just going to st I stamp the word dream from Loving Thoughts. And I'm just going to cut a little flag out of that. And adhere that. Come here. There we go. We've adhered that onto our card. Now I have come in with my Melon Mambo same swirl stamp from Everything Eleanor. I stamped that on my card. Let's go ahead and adhere this now onto my card front. You can see how easy this card is to create. Oh, before I adhere that, I wanted to do one more thing. I thought I'd add a little um, ribbon here the way Shelly did. I really liked that on her card. I'm just going to punch a hole and attempt to slide this ribbon through. Oh, goodness. Six cups of coffee are making me shaky today. 
All right. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that onto my card before I tie it just because I find it a little bit easier. <laughs> All right. So this is just going to be tied. And you can tie it in a knot or just tie it over once. Whatever makes you happy. All right. We've got that. Now I'm going to take my little sentiment. But, you know, I had this little leaf left over. So I thought, well, let's use it. So I'm just going to put a little adhesive there on the back. Find a happy spot for my leaf. There we go. Put the rest on there. Attach that to my card. And there you have it. Except it's crooked. But I'll fix that. Anyway, there is your wonderful, simple, happy flashcard. I'm going to show you that one because it's so much better. I hope you enjoyed this version of the flashcard series. Stay tuned. There's always more videos to come. Thanks so much for your support in this series. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.